Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Ravenloft Strahd's Possession. Last time, we barely missed finishing up the uh, the caves here. Uh, we <laughs> have one thing to do, which is to get into this area, and I figured out how to do that. Uh, it involves, I believe, how you're intended to find illusory walls in this game, I think. Um... So, yeah, I will show you. But we're going to try something since I know what, what's waiting for us behind that wall. Um, I have prepared here on Irmgard some um, invisibility versus undead spells. We're just going to try and see how it works. It's not a strategy I'll probably bother using very often unless it really seems to be uh, useful for one reason or another. There we go. Now we are all invisible to the undead. Um, we're going to do a detect undead. And I switch up our spells slightly because I don't think the armor spells are really doing us any good at this point. And uh, actually, the only other thing we're going to do is we're just going to get some music going here because <laughs> we've lost it while I was working on stuff here. But we're, we're pretty much picking up right where we left off. Okay, so the way that this works is... We need to come up here, and then we need to click on this uh, wall here. Oh no, we need to walk through the wall. That's how we do it. So there we go. We got one critter there. And uh, beyond that, I don't know. As you can see, we've got one very naughty... Oh, jeez. One very naughty critter right there. We're spinning. Why are we spinning? Oh, that's interesting. Is that... Yeah, so that's how the illusory walls work. You don't have to click on it, we just have to walk through it. Um, obviously that went poorly. I think that thing can see through invisibility to undead. So, all the, a lot of good that did. It just made it so we can't cast any spells. I think that's a trap tile, though. Well, that at least worked. I wonder if we can just plink this guy to death. <laughs> Seems like maybe we can. It's like one of those shooting duck gallery things. Hey, we got him. And Ivan even gains a level. These things are worth so much XP. Seems like there might be another one in here, too. So you got 48, 5, 7... Well, you might be leaving, so let's... Let's see. Fighter 7, 6, 8, D. Keep that in mind. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that math or not, but... There's one down. Yeah, okay. Very funny game. It's a spinner tile. <laughs> um, we should probably get that ready, I think. Just in case. I don't know if anybody can use a wand of fireballs. I, don't, I think only mages should be able to use it. But honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Crap, we lost our detect undead. There was a, a second one in here somewhere. Second undead, that is. And I'm guessing it's going to be one of those other critters. Uh, however, we are going to cast... These on our front line, just in case it's not... Another one of those bone guys, and instead uh, something... Far worse. All right, let's, I don't, I don't know, we'll just start trying to walk through walls, I guess. It's this one. Good day, sir. That was a waste of a fireball, but hey, that looks like a portal. Unfortunately, we can't leave yet because we don't have what we came for. At least I don't think. Unless this is it. I'm going to take that from you. <laughs> just in case. You can hang on to something else, like a shield. Yeah, that, that is something all right. I don't know if that's the kind of portal you want to walk into or not, but we're going to go for it. What is this? Urmgard is gone. And he's gone. That rascal gained our confidence, then vanished without leaving so much as footfall on this side of the portal. By the gods, look around. I'd say this is no further from where we started than we could have walked in a sullen mile. And we're right back here and all our shit's on the ground. 
Oh boy. Well, shit. Where did Ermgard go? Did she make it out? I don't know. But Rizard's house is right here, so we're gonna go in here. We have to listen to the ghost complain. He's just gonna have to deal with it. Hopefully, all of her shit stays on the ground, even when it's not uh, in the building. If that makes sense. The ghoul Lord. Shut up. Hey, it's you. Um, yeah, perhaps you would like to come with us again. Of course. You are, after all, not here to... I think we've heard that before, so we're just gonna grab him and go. And he's naked. <laughs> so we'll have to deal with that. Maybe should have rested while I was here, but it seems like we can just... Go and, um... Oh, good, all our stuff is still here. Um, seems like we can just go back into town. Do wonder where Vladislav went off to. Maybe he's uh, not as trustworthy as we initially thought. What a surprise that would be, huh? There you go. Put that on your head. And we'll just start picking up crap at random here. Put that in your hands, I think. Actually, you're going to be using that dagger if I can find the damn thing. Not this one, the other one, the throwing knife. Put those on ya. Ah, uh, yeah, he's over encumbered, so his AC is gonna be garbage, but that's that's okay. We'll we will handle that all in good time. Ocean of speed, healing, healing, blah blah blah. Me the dagger, yeah. There we go. And then, uh, can you hold that in your other hand? Sweet. All right, so uh, we'll just leave all that stuff here, and we'll come out and get it uh, when we pick somebody else up, I guess. Ooh, we missed. I wish he could have gotten all that XP, though. That would have been nice. <laughs> um, oh, there's another one somewhere. Hello? Greetings, friends. Uh, somebody did mention also that I missed a cave out here that's... Uh, potentially re related to a, uh, a quest that we can do. Um, and potentially related to the werewolves that we saw outside that suddenly disappeared. Um, so we will uh, look into that in a bit. And we need to go pick somebody else up. Um, who did we have before? Tatian. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to pick her up. <laughs> Maybe we'll go get Falcon if... Um, Ermgard is, in fact, gone. Um, let's look for the inn. I think it's right over here somewhere. Um, maybe to the south a bit more? Yeah, okay. At least we came out here in the daytime. That's kind of convenient. Right. So yeah, Arm Guard is gone by the looks of it. All of our stuff's still here, so that's good. There is Gloriana as well. She said she was gonna come back here. I guess we could pick her up instead of Falcon, but I would sort of like a a fighter-y type. Just because casting a lot of spells in this game is a little bit difficult to do on the fly while you're uh, under pressure from enemies. <laughs> so. But I do, I just want to see if we can find her, is all. There's also Velika, but I, I think that's just a win, not a teleporter. Uh, yeah, there's also Velika. But uh, we don't need another fighter mage thief in the party, honestly, I don't think. There she is. Hello. I'm just curious if she has anything to say. Our friend from Scythicus, 
It's fair to chance upon you again. How go your studies? <laughs> By now, I can tell one vintage of Tweeka from another. And I know when an inferior brandy wine, or a watered brandy wine, is offered to me. Ah, but that's not what you mean. Stupefyingly boring is how my studies progress. I fear no book of worth rests on any shelf in the entire town. Please, when you are ready to leave, know that my interest in journeying with you remains keen. Alright, we'll uh, keep that in mind. But, uh... I think we'll uh, we'll pass. I guess we can get this. You're talking to Sharp Raps. You do great at thirst for Brandywine to be of immediate service. Will you be staying on here? Aye, I will. But be assured, I stand ready to be of service when you return. Wonderful. Now let's uh, get out of here and we'll see if we can pick up Falcon and then go get the rest of our shit that's on the ground outside. I wonder if it's... We heard that wind sound again. I, I didn't notice it before, but I'm wondering if that's happening because the uh, the door to upstairs is, teleport, is, is coded as a teleporter to bring us to here. And all teleporters just make that sound in this game. I'm thinking that's maybe why it is. Oh crap, it's dark out. How did it get so dark? It's only four friggin' o'clock. <laughs> Not even. Uh, Alright, where's Falcon at? Just to the south. Yeah, that's... That's the guy I want to see for now, at least. And we'll... Meet uh, some other NPCs at some point, I know. I just don't know... Where they are, or when. Uh, this was not the one. One more house down. I don't like that sound. <laughs> We're gonna stay in your place, I think. Uh, let's see. We already, uh, know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Well met again, Merchant Fellow, and yes, I, for one, appreciate a little friendly wit at my side. Would you come along? Most enthusiastically. If you must know, I'm quite penniless at the moment. I found anything daring is likely to pay well, so I hope we're about something truly adventurous, if you know what I mean. I think I do? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, not that it matters too much, I'm gonna switch you guys around just like so. We should probably get get this man some clothes. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, we got uh, the plate mail from uh, Vladislav there, so I guess we'll wear that. May as well. Which means we can probably drop off the other plate mail at the end. So I guess we may as well... Handle that real fast. Let's uh do a little bit of inventory management and then we'll we'll go back out and get some stuff. Alright, I did drop a couple things. Um We uh hopefully are gonna have enough space to uh to bring everything. I think we will. Oh, we gotta deal with this guy though. Oh, we can hit him on the way back. Ha-ha! <laughs> Excellent. Wasn't sure if that worked in this game or not, but it absolutely seems to. Now, I'm guessing we're going to find maybe some werewolves out here. And now uh, we do have spells, so I'm going to use them. To, uh, just try to not die, is the idea. Alright, uh, we probably don't need to detect undead anymore. I wonder if he has spells. Because I don't know if uh, he keeps them or not. He does. Okay, this is good. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just cast Blur on you like so. And yeah, your AC is fine since we moved some stuff around. Now, I have him dual wielding with the Wand of Fireballs. I don't think the Wand of Fireballs will get used automatically, like as we're clicking on enemies, but we'll try it and we'll see what happens. Try to pay attention to it. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick up my crap here. Unless we find a fight, 
we'll just uh, probably end up back at the inn as I've done some more inventory management and probably some resting. Alrighty, inventory management completed. I dropped all of those keys that we picked up because I don't think we're going to need them. Some other stuff, and then we get a couple of magic weapons over in the corner there. Um, yeah, so our inventory is looking pretty good uh, for the most part. We got a little bit of extra room in some of these boxes here. So, uh, we uh, have slightly more space than it seems like. Now, it is nighttime. And I haven't buffed or anything, but I want to go and uh, go to the graveyard at night because last time, or not the graveyard, but the church grounds, I guess, at night, because last time there were a bunch of undead there. And I would like to kill them all for whatever little bit of XP they're going to give me. Is that a person? That's just a, a lady, I think. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't quite sure. Yeah, it's, I think it's close enough to nighttime anyway. If not, we can just hang back and wait for a minute. I don't even think we're going to really need to buff to, uh, to take these things out. So we're just going to pop in here and punch some stuff. Hmm, what's this? Burgermaster's man, huh? That black-hearted knight we met beneath the Ivalis... Would, uh, would have the Burgomaster trembling before him, not the other way around, whatever he was about. I should bet it represented his own best interest in these affairs. He stayed with us only long enough to fulfill his own goals, whatever they may be. That's actually a good point. Um, we should talk to the Burgomaster. Totally forgot about that. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go do that. And then we'll come back out and, uh... Kill all those undead. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a lot of uh, guys here. Welcome to Barovia. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Unfortunately, we actually lost our ability to neutralize poison therm guards, so. Um. That is an actual shame. We're going to see if we can snipe this guy. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> um. Yeah, Burgomaster. I wonder if uh, you can explain to me if uh, that guy was really his agent. Where did you come from? I'm actually getting kind of torn up here a little bit. Quite a few bandits out of night. Seems like these, maybe these guys do respawn or maybe they at least come back when the, the story advances a bit. Best to take those guys out at range when we can. All right, we got a few more guys here. Might as well just have Rizard do all the XP. It seems like this dagger always hits, too. Which is uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Thought we killed him, but I guess not. All right. Let's, uh, let's see here. We just need to go kind of south. See more guys there. It's a terrible throw, Rizard. What are you aiming at? It's a little bit better, though. <laughs> Laugh it up. You gonna die. <laughs> I'm guessing the bandits are not really worth a particularly large amount of XP. But I'll take what I can get. Okay, yeah, let's... Pop over here. And we'll just see what we can see. He's still here, by the looks of it. Yep, just hanging out. Doing whatever it is he does. Uh-huh, you seem surprised to see us, Burgomaster. Did you think we would have met our fate by now? Surprised? No, not I. When we first met, I judged you to have qualities Lord Strahd would not waste, not quickly disregard. Believe me, your journey will not end with undue haste. And, of course, 
If you have Strahd's blessing while in our land, you have mine as well. We do have that. Um, I wonder what he has to say about the elven guest. Hmm, no, I'm afraid she's gone. Believe me, it was nothing I said or did. It was certainly not. She seemed anxious, ready to seek out whatever magic tomes or folios the town might possess. And not that there are many, and not that I don't count the best of them among my own possessions. <laughs> oh, but if you must find her, she planned to stop at the Blood of the Vine. Seek her there. Alright, fair enough. What time is it? It's past midnight. If we hurry, maybe we can get there. And it'll still be dark. A little bit banged up, but I don't think that'll matter. There are people wandering around on the Burgomaster's grounds here. I don't imagine he probably doesn't appreciate that <laughs> too terribly much. Just having the riffraff out and about on his on his lawn. That is a person, okay. I don't know if we can attack the NPCs or not, but I'm not gonna try. Let's see if we can kill ourselves some zombos and ghouls and good stuff like that. One thing we can do is, uh, kablam. Yeah, you can, you can say that maybe there's just a couple undead out here. <laughs> Let's see how much these things are actually worth here. So we've got 10301. This one's a zombie, so. Worth quite a bit. 10301 goes down to 10233, so they're worth 240 each, roughly. Or no, 320 each, roughly, I think. Definitely worthwhile, and then you. Um, are worth a little bit more, I think. I don't remember where we were at. <laughs> I think they're worth more. Either way, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna kill because we can. Who's gonna stop us? These guys? I don't think so. Well, if you stop getting hit, Ivan, I would appreciate it. We may go back and rest. I would like to go check out that cave that I missed in the other area, but I just feel like it's maybe better if we um, rid ourselves of our uh, our friend the jeweler <laughs> before we uh, do any anything else too much. Because if we do have to fight in there, Isa will probably get uh, paralyzed beyond uh, curing once again while we're in the area. So. We probably want to have her capable of helping us out. Yep, that is indeed a ghoul. Alright. We do have one more detect undead, I think. A couple more over here. Oh, I think we just got paralyzed. Ghouls can indeed do that. I think I'd wondered about that before, but I just don't think it happened. All right, anybody else? Some undead in the church, that's never a good sign. Especially since I think Lathander who uh, I believe this was a church of, if I uh, my memory serves correctly. Uh, he's not a big fan of the undead at all. 
I think he's the Morning Lord or something like that. One of his names. So anyway, now that we've cleared out all the undead on the grounds, I'm going to go back to the end. We'll, we'll rest. And uh, then we'll come back and poke our head in the, uh, the church. We'll just see what we can see. Because it seems like that's our next step. Well, one little interruption on the way down. Remember who told you this? That the whole ruined land is a trap. Look, the shutters are closed as if they haven't been open in years. Don't these people breathe? Village like this, timber and plaster buildings, two stories high, there's one that's three, could hold a half a thousand souls. Are they afraid to come out from behind those whitewashed walls? I don't know. And the town still is cursed. Is still... The town's still as still as the cursed woods. There we go. Might it be a plague region? Where's the market? Bakers in flour up to their elbows. Shoeless women crowding the streets. Gaggles of their brats underfoot. Easy, said. So not a big fan of the, the people, huh? Not a voice do you hear? Not a single carriage wheel clattering in the streets. Ah, this is maddening. Just a little uh, bandit ambush here. No big deal. We need to rest. Oh, and we got one guy behind us still. Well, we've rested, but Yusa still has more to complain about. The village is an old man, weary and worn out. Looks ready to lie down and die without so much of a word of protest to mark its fate. Fair enough. We're going to go into the church now, though. Real fast. I don't know if we'll have much time to do anything in there. We'll see. But we'll at least get in there. This should be, I imagine, clear of undead. Unless they respawned. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. I mean, if we could farm XP somewhere, that would be kind of cool, I guess. Just to get a little farther ahead than we really would otherwise be able to be. Maybe it gets level 6 spells on Isa after all, but that would be an immense amount of grinding, I think. And shut up. <laughs> nothing we can we can do about it. We have to come in here, I think. So let's just do it and get it done with it. So Isa is going to be disabled for this, unfortunately. I think we can still cast spells with her, though. Uh, so there is that. Now, since I don't know what's... Uh, Gonna be in here. We're gonna go ahead and just do some buffs real quick. It looks like this place might be a little bigger than I thought. Regardless, let's use this key. So now that's open. And uh, let's just remind ourselves what this said. Cherish and obey the land, but defy it not. Seems like somebody carved that in, into the stone as a warning, perhaps. If any place might shed the aura of dark, unwelcome secrets which hangs about Barovia, I'd hope this temple might be it. How foolish. There's an air of desecration here stronger than words can express. Guess that's his clericness talking. Oh, okay, we got some doggies in here. Pretty tough. Um, burning hands? And Ivan has died. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to have to be a little bit cautious as we go through here. Uh, and uh, try and take out the enemies uh, within. We're going to use that wand of fireballs a few times. Uh, so yeah, when we come back, we will see what lies in store for us further into the church. <laughs>